I'm Alex Myers and welcome to another edition of The Grind, golf's top variety column that appears on GolfDigest.com on Mondays, on Tuesdays. Here's what we're buying and selling this week. We're buying Ricky Fowler's play at the Abu Dhabi Golf Championship. That's now four wins in the last eight months for Fowler, who has now ascended to number four in the official world golf ranking. However, we're selling all this big four talk. Even Ricky says to do that until he wins a major. I'm also not completely sold on those high tops just yet. Although, I gotta admit, they look a little less ridiculous when you're holing out from everywhere on the golf course. I'm also buying Jason Duffner, who won on the PGA Tour for the first time in more than two years. I'm really happy for Jason because he's been through a lot in those two years. You had those 47 winless starts, that whole divorce with his wife, Amanda, and of course, the debacle that was the Johnny Manziel era for his Cleveland Browns. Rough times indeed. I'm also selling the bogus Guinness World Record set last week by soccer star Aaron Ramsey, who juggled a golf ball 61 times in 30 seconds. Now I have no shot at doing such a thing, but our young friend Matty Duplessis already sent us in a video of him crushing the record. Well done, Matty. Now to more pressing matters, this week in Models Playing Golf. It turns out that a Miss Universe Canada contestant plays golf and that she made a hole in one last week. Does everyone who's ever played golf have a hole in one besides me? Unbelievable. And finally, we end with a few random but important questions to ponder. Number one, do the Denver Broncos have a chance against the Carolina Panthers in the Super Bowl? No. Number two, what's it like to be a big time college recruit? Considering Clemson is building a $55 million facility that includes a mini golf course for its football players, I wanna assume it's pretty awesome. And number three, after winter storm Jonas completely buried my house in snow, is it time to invest in a snowblower? Damn you, Jonas. For more of the grind and all things golf, please check out GolfDigest.com. See you next week.